Here are the components for one of our amphibious floats. On the floor is the preformed bottom skin and the roll of aluminum makes up our main top skin. Now we have all six of them cut. Keeping our total length of 14 and a half feet in mind, we want to space out our cradles. And next to the front skin is the back top skin, or the rear. Here we have drawn the stations. We now proceed to place the skin using additional manpower onto our jig. And then using a two by four, Now, we want to prepare our bulkheads by providing an accurate vertical line. Notice that I have marked along the center line. By using a level, we can move on now to insert the rest of the bulkheads that were in between. And again, we're just gonna line it up with our line and clamp it in place. And we'll draw these on both sides for all of the bulkhead flange rivet lines. Next, we want to take the rear keel and even with the end here, I have marked four inches from the center on the edge on both sides. And here's what the skin should look like. And notice our rough cut opening. Now we're going to trace along the edge of the front nose wheel well because we don't want a sharp point when we have an inside corner like that. We want it rounded 